Home. Chapter 64. A Miraculous Ladybug Fan Fiction Written and Narrated by Mira Rose. If you haven't already, make sure to check out the previous 63 chapters of this story. You can find them linked in the description box, and as long as we're at it, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. If you don't know what to comment, put a new hawk moth. Now then, please enjoy Home, Chapter 64. Adrian Graham de Vanley as Cat Noir. Cat had to wonder if other superheroes got dizzy using Kalki's powers. Traveling through space always upset his stomach, but he swallowed the feeling down each time. The last thing he wanted to do was look weak in front of Ladybug. <laughs> look weak in front of her. After all this time, she was the one whose opinion mattered the most, huh? Hey, Alia. Ladybug greeted their dumbstruck companions before he recovered from the teleportation, leaving him scrambling to deliver a friendly smile and wave before balancing the war in his stomach. Looks like the cat's out of... out of the... Cat tried, then realized he wouldn't make it. To his horror, Cat threw up on Ladybug's feet. Oops. Cat! she exclaimed, giving him a once-over before twisting her face into a wicked grin. Not feline so good? Did... Did she just... Did Ladybug just make a pun after he threw up on her? What universe was this? Was he dreaming? Was she akumatized? Ladybug lifted her leg and shook off the contents of his stomach, then sighed. Mind if we take this somewhere private? I don't know what I expected. Alia said, tucking her hair behind her ears. But girl, the last three hours have been more exciting than the last three years. Is that a yes? Yes. Alia grabbed a bottle from Nino and emptied it over Ladybug's feet. Let's go. Cheeks still burning, Cat followed his companions to an apartment he'd only seen in manga. There was barely enough room for a futon and a coffee table. You live here together? He asked. What? No. It's just me, Alia said, filling a kettle. Nino's just visiting. So Chris, Ladybug cut in, her look shooting to kill. Tell me about this hawk moth. The teenage boy shifted leaning against the wall. Well, uh, is it Lila? Cat nearly snapped his neck as he twisted to look at Ladybug. What? Cat began. No! Chris exclaimed. No, I haven't seen Lila in a bit. Dude, you gotta give it up, Nino said. He exchanged glances with Halia. She's never gonna see you as anything more than a kid. Oh? Chris liked Lila. That's new. But Chris was like six, eight years younger than them? He shouldn't hold feelings for her. Should he? Then again, Cat knew better than anyone what it was like to like someone, despite your best efforts not to. I'm not- Where's Bunnix? Cat asked. She should be here. She was responsible for the chain of custody. Pooping, probably, Chris muttered. Christopher! Alia scolded, chucking a spoon at him. He caught it, laughing. Sorry to burst your bubble, but I'm right here. The balcony slid open, and Bunnix stepped in, the butterfly miraculous in hand. Cat narrowed his eyes. That was a smoker's balcony. How long were you out there? 
he asked. Bunnix raised an eyebrow. Uh, not long. You can barely stand out there when the door's closed, Alia chimed in. That doesn't matter, Bunnix huffed. Here, she offered the miraculous to Cat. Did you like it? He asked, catching her eye. Huh? Being Hawkmoth. Ladybug looked between him and Bunnix. Cat, what do you... It all made sense now. There never was a new hawk moth, was there? He asked, holding eye contact. Bunnix held a cool expression before sighing. Are you sure you aren't a dog? Why? Because I sniffed you out? How'd you know? You said it yourself. Ladybug and I needed to make up. <laughs> More like make out, Alia snorted. What? Ladybug squeaked. Cat Noir ignored the comment. Was it worth it? Terrorizing people, past and present, to get a team leader? You tell me. Bunnix grinned. I'm not the one who got kissed. Kissed? What was she talking about? He heard Alia yell something, but he couldn't discern it. He frowned, not sure what she was getting at. Are you crazy? Even if he had gotten kissed, it wouldn't be worth a terrorist attack on Paris, both past and present. Wait, you guys haven't made up yet? It was her turn to look confused. Did you... Cat licked his lips and furrowed his eyebrows as he turned his attention to the ceiling, crossing his arms, trying to keep himself from yelling. Did you... Steal a miraculous, akumatize Nino's little brother, and let me cataclysm your miraculous to what? Get Ladybug and I in the room together? To literally kiss and make up? His tone was barely a growl, which was surprising considering the temperature of his blood, each boiled bubble popping his last nerve. Did I get it wrong? Bunnix muttered. No, I'm never. Cat felt a hand on his shoulder before he could respond. Ladybug. Looking down, her face was just as stern as his, but her eyes told a different story. Oh. Oh, she was scary. He thought he'd seen Ladybug upset before, but he was grateful to not be on the receiving end of this stare. Bugaboo's wrath was all but traumatizing. Actually, it was best to sit this one out. Okay, Ladybug, do your worst. Rip that bunny into a rug. Thank you so much for listening. Home Chapter 65 will be available next week. In the meantime, check out other videos and series on this channel for more Miraculous Ladybug fanfiction. And if you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button so Tiki gets a cookie and leave a comment in the comment section. If you don't know what to comment, put a new rug in the comment section. I will catch you in the next one. Bye!